know, life's such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? All right, jumping right into it, guys. Red snapper, clean gutted, and wash and scale. So that's where his fin was, and I just yanked it off for some reason. But we got a big red snapper here. This is going to be a Chinese steamed fish, one of my favorite thing to eat and my mom's favorite thing to eat while growing up. So big, beautiful red snapper. I got slits on it as well. I'm tossing to ah, ow, ow. Be careful. Throw into the steamer, and we're gonna steam this bad boy up for about I want to say just because he's big. Uh, let's say 30 to 35 minutes or 25 to 30 minutes. All right. Here we go. We're gonna do the sauce. So this sauce is just pretty much a nice soy based sauce. So we got one bulb of uh, what is this called? Garlic. We're just gonna do thinly slice them down. Don't go my speed, guys. I'm a professional. <laughs> Just take your time. Right? What else we got here? A bulb of shallot, which we're just gonna slice down. Thin like. Also, we got some green onion here. Just one nice bunch. We're gonna cut it right there we're gonna take this throw it in the garbage just kidding guys you leave it to the side there okay we're just gonna use the stem so clean this off i'm gonna slice it down like that see see what we're doing that's it nice little thin slices how simple is that very simple right guys just don't goof it up okay please watch your fingers okay take your green onion slices toss it in i just are gonna curl up nicely we got some hot oil on two pans here all i'm gonna do it in one side garlic we're gonna fry it up nicely this side we got shallots we're gonna fry it up nicely these should not touch until the end all right don't let them touch until the end why i don't know <laughs> just don't let them touch together all right till the end garlic's nice and fried dump it out shallots nice and fried i'm gonna infuse this oil with the garlic oil but later I'm gonna take this and strain it over on this side here, okay? Just don't let them touch. Like I said, why? Just just listen to me, all right? Just listen to me. <laughs> Time to make the sauce to top it off on our fish. Two tablespoons dark soy sauce. We got two tablespoons light soy sauce. We got three tablespoons sugar. We got a tablespoon of oyster sauce. We got one cup of water. I like to kick it up a little notch with a little fish sauce. Just a tad, half tablespoon. Also, I got some Shao Xin Wai. Tablespoon. All right, here we go. Big, beautiful red snapping here. Oh my, oh my, got some skin on that. Here we go. Shallots. Garlic. Oh my. Find that out. Remember that green onion? The extra green onion we have? I'm just gonna throw it on top. Okay, so here goes our soy sauce base. Right on top. Perfect. On this side here, we got our garlic oil and shallot oil heating up. Nobody say anything. I wish it sizzled a little more. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Take our green onion. Place it on top. With no ice, please. <laughs> With no ice. This is the cooking show for the people, all right? We make mistakes here. <laughs> there it is, guys. My Chinese style steamed fish. When are you guys gonna come back? Quick time, guys. Stop playing around and come through. All right, let's do this. Steam Chinese fish. This is how you eat Chinese fish. Or oh, steam Chinese fish, guys. So, you see me how I prepped it? Let me say this. I seen it on uh, Asian Never Die. There was like a meme. It wasn't even like a meme. It was kind of like a video of 
uh, Westerners going to eat at a Chinese restaurant and they ordered or each each of them had an entree and one of them had like one of this <laughs> and he was eating it by himself so with any Asian culture guys I want to say this you always share so it's always like a big entree in the middle and you just share and you pick at it right you don't eat it by itself right that's it's kind of selfish <laughs> so here you got a spoon fork you ruin the decoration like this <laughs> okay oh I goofed it I should have add more soy sauce to this oh man, who cares all good okay what I'm gonna do cut me a piece or rip me a piece or break me a piece oh. I'm drooling guys. I'm legit drooling. Okay, where's your bowl? Okay, this is how you do it. Okay, you serve people first. Okay You serve them first Then you go at it. All right, here's yours. All right. Yeah, a little more onions. All right, okay Got a little decoration on there for you. Huh? <laughs> hey, let's do this Okay, you don't eat the whole thing. All right, you just eat just eat a piece. <laughs> Just eat a piece. Okay? Just take a piece, okay? Let's do this. Oh, man. Okay. A bite. Why did I use this bowl? This bowl's gonna just burn my hand. Okay, fresh rice. This rice is a little, little um, wet, but it's still all good, guys. I like my uh, rice wet. Quick talk. It's got a nice soup on this one. That's good rice. <laughs> oh. Piece of the red snapper. Hmm? Okay. It's got out. Nice. Soup off for this. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Bounce it off. Ah, oh, bounce it off. Bounce your life off of the rice. Quick time. It's got nice. Soup off for this. The fried garlic and the fried shallot. Legit. Brings it up to a whole new level. Oh man, that's nice. That's very nice. Most amazing thing ever. Be careful for bones. Mm. I say the best fish to have this Chinese style steamed fishes is the red snapper. Legit. The red snapper is really meaty. I don't know why. Back in the day, I always used tilapia. Oh man. This hits a spot. I think tilapia, in my opinion, tastes like dirt. <laughs> Legit, it tastes like dirt. I don't know how people eat it. I don't know. To me, it just tastes like dirt. I'll eat it, but I don't know. It just tastes like dirt to me. Any tilapia fans out there? You eating dirt. <laughs> you eating dirt. <laughs> Mm. Make this dish at home and tell me how it goes, guys. Legit. You make this for your family, I guarantee you, your family's gonna love you. <laughs> mm. Make sure you guys don't skip out on the fried garlic and fried shallot. And make sure you don't let it touch each other, right? Until the end. Why? You just listen to me, all right? Open your mouth. Let me slide this in. Quick top. We got it. Nice. Oh, super pumped for this. Mmm. That is so good. That is so good, my friend. This probably in the restaurant costs you about $30 to make or buy.
you can make this at home for about $15. Oh yeah. <laughs>